Okay, so the bottom of the cylinder is this much. So we're going to solve for something, like a radius or height. Uh, let me see something. So the bottom of the cylinder is 52.34 inches, cubic inches, and the radius is 2.5 inches. Which equation can we use to find the height, h the height of the cylinder? Okay, so the volume in this situation is going to be the dips give away when you use the volume formula. And so volume of a cylinder is bh. Volume is equal to, I'm going to just draw it out real quick. We've got a, 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 maybe doing too much work here, but the b stands for the area of the base, which is a circle. So I need to get the area of a base, which is pi radius squared, right? Times your height. Now, I like to kind of do like a check off of this. Volume, do we know what it is? Yes, we do. We know it to be what? 52.34. And we go the radius, because we need the radius. 2.5. Do we know the height? No, we don't. So we're going to end solve this thing, right? In the situation over here, uh, just, I don't know what to say. End solve, and you can put these as your, your answer choices. Put them in the calculator and see if we get to the answer. Or just use your brain and go back to seventh grade. I'm not sure how to do this one, right? So volume is no longer volume. It's 52.34. equals pi. The radius in this situation is going to be 2.5 on the cubic squared times your height. I don't know my height, so I want to use it. So normally I would say n's all right, but in this situation, it's going to go back and say, hey, find me the answer. But don't give me the answer. Show me which way you would do it or how you would do it to get the answer. So in this situation, I'm going to go back to this seventh grade. I'm going to replace this, all these numbers with just I guess I'll do it down here. So, right, number four. I'll go with eight. Equals to these two. We actually have to put them in the calculator. That's eight. What? Mm -hmm. 6.25 times that eight. 18, 8, 20 here. Uh, so I'll just go with a two. And H. I'll put it as H. How do you get the H alone? Back in uh, seventh grade, how would you get the H alone? You divide by two. Divide by whatever is by the variable, right? So you divide both sides by the variable. By that number, so you get a variable alone. That variable now is dropped down and stays h, and then eight divided by two is your answer. Eight divided by two, yes, it is equal to four, right? But I want to divide it as eight over two, right? So in this situation here, I'm going to use the same idea. How or what do I do to go and get this variable h by itself? You see, this is like the two right here. Here's your h. So I would divide by this number here. In the situation it was two, I want to divide by all of this, which is pi 2.5 squared. So I'm going to divide both sides by that. Pi 2.5 squared. These cancel out, which on this side, left hand side over here, leaves me with the idea of 52.34 divided by pi times 2.5 squared, and then these cancel out equals to h. So this is what I'm looking for. h should be equal to 52 point something on top, divided by pi 2.5 squared. Pi 2.5 squared. So there it is. Hopefully that made sense. This goes off the idea of uh, elementary solving for a variable. Actually, seventh grade solving for a variable. Oh, well, same thing again, right? So it's just the same way. I'll, I'll give myself some more room in here. I'm going to go down with all of this. I'm going to come out here. Volume of the cylinder is that much? So we're going to go 8.0. Volume is equal to, again, for volume of the cylinder, BH. Volume is equal to B. And the cylinder, I guess. I should just draw it to keep consistent. This would be the B is the area of the space, which is a circle, right? So to get the area of a circle, which is going to be pi r squared, I'm going to have my height. And again, I kind of like to do a check off what I have, what I'm given, what I need to do. I need to have the, the volume, pi, and a pi is radius. We need it for the radius, and we need it for the height. So the one that we're missing is what we're going to get as the answer, right? So pi, and we're going to volume is 87.35. And we go 5.17 for the radius. And the height, again, we just don't know what that is. So we're going to plug in the values over here. B is that one right here, 87.35. equals pi. Radius in the situation was 5.17. Times my height, H, I don't know. And I guess I'll change colors, and I'll do it one more time. And I'll do it way down here, give myself some room. So in this situation right here, I'm going to change this. This is a number. So I'm going to change it to, an, to a nice number that I'm, uh, I'm comfortable with. These are a number, right? Oh, that should be squared. Okay. 
I'm going to change that again to 2. All right. Uh, that's going to put 2. I'll put a 4 this time. And I still have the H. And when I get the H on it, what number is by the H thing? I have 4 H's. I need 1 H. So I'm going to divide the same number that's by the variable. In this situation, the variable is H. I'm going to divide the same number. But if I do it to one side, I can do the other side also. These secretly, or not secretly, if you can understand, they become a 1. They basically, we say they cancel out. They become a 1. So how many H's do you really have? You have that 1 H, right? Over here, yeah, the answer is going to be 2. But just for the sake of the answers, the way it's put over here where they haven't solved it out, I'm going to leave it as A over 4. And we approach it the same way. What's the number by the H? It's an ugly number. When I'm off by on a calculator, I'm basically going to have some number. So I'm going to divide by that same number. 5.17. Right? And divide both sides. So I'm going to do it to one side, I'll do it to the other side too. 5.17. These will cancel out. The column cancel out, but it's just turned into a 1. And we're left with an H here. And on this over here, uh, whatever that is, that's my answer. 87.35 divided by pi times 5.17 squared. So the diagram has the dimensions of a container in the shape of a cylinder and a lid in the, uh, in the shape of a hemisphere. Hemisphere means half a circle, half a sphere. Which measurement is closest to the volume of this figure in cubic feet? Okay, so let's come up with a pan. What I see here is two things. I see the top part is uh, half of a sphere. I'm going to change it. Different colors for different things. Okay, so nobody freaks out. And the bottom down here is a cylinder. Now, together, that's the whole total. That's the whole figure, right? That's the figure. So we're going to do this. We need the volume of the sphere, half it, and then the volume of the cylinder, and add it together, which is the volume of the figure. Um, I'm going to have to get a calculator for this. Uh, let me just set it up for you. So we come out here and set it up. Okay, so we're going to go to the bottom of the sphere. I'll do the in blue, which is 4 thirds pi r cubed. And when I'm done with this thing, when I'm done doing this, I'm going to divide it by 2. So 4 thirds pi, what's my r? 10 feet cubed. So, a fraction, I'm going to go with four thirds. Pi, and we're going to go with ten raised to the carrot. I don't even care what that is. You know why? I'm getting half of it. I said I'm going to get half of it, right? So I'm going to go out here and divide that by two. I get 2,009. Just to double check, Press enter, I'm going to get this weird, uh, yeah, I'll go 20.94.4, 20.94.4, which now volume is equal to 20.94.4. So that's the volume of the hemisphere, right? I got half of it? Yes, I did. So now I want to come out here, and that is in the, kind of a, in my answer. I'm going to go 2094.4. And I'm going to add that, and I'll put the combination of blue. Oh, God. Blue. 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 And green. I'm going to add them together, right? So I'm going to go get the green one over here, which happens to be the volume of the, the cylinder. And the volume of the cylinder is going to be equal to this cylinder, pH. The volume equals to the cylinder. Area of the base is going to get b pi r squared pi times my height. So the volume is equal to pi. What's my radius? 10 squared times my height? 16. So we're going to go volume is equal to Eight, eight, 
18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, I'm going to go that one plus, and I'm going to come back up to this one here. Okay, train, nine, four, four. Uh, is it rounded? I think it might be more accurate. All right, so we're going to go with this one here, 20, 29. Oh, my, my next question. Okay, so the world record at the top, I can find out the height of 10 point something, 10.1. 10 10 10.1 feet. I see in cone. So I'm going to say it's a cone again. 10.1 from here all the way here. And a diameter all the way across, side to side. So 10 point, where am I going? 3.6 feet. Which one is close to the volume of the ice cream cone? This one's very easy to straightforward volume. So I'm using my reference material here, right? It's one third BH. Volume is equal to one third. B is the area of the base of ten percent of your focal. This is I R squared times my height. So that we're gonna start putting the numbers here. See, so I need the volume. I'm gonna look for that. I do need my pi. I know that. I need my radius, I need my height. Do my pi? Okay, so I'm given a diameter of 3.6. Do I ever use a diameter? No, I didn't have to. So the radius I'm going to have to divide over 2, which is 1.8. Mm, 3.6 divided by 2. 1.8. Uh, 1.8. My height would be 10.1. And then we go pi. 1.8 squared times 10.1. That's it. So let's start moving the answers. Let's see if we can just, let's see if they match you. So we got four. You can't say that. Four. I'm going to go with this one now. I'm just guessing. I'm guessing. Let's check it out. Thirty-four. No, no, off. Oh, okay, so we're going to thirty-four. Thirty-four. What was the answer again? Thirty-four. 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 Hopefully that makes sense. Oh, this is the same one we did one. Well, diagram shows the dimension of a container in the shape of a cylinder. Where they live in the shape of a hemisphere. And which direction is the closest to the line of the figure? So I'm going to change colors. This time I'll go to green and then blue. Okay. You can kind of pick up what I'm doing. So the top part is the hemisphere, so which means the volume of a sphere. Actually, the volume of half a sphere. And then add it to the volume of a cylinder. So just approach it and do this real quick. So we're going to come out here and for the volume of a sphere, four thirds pi r cubed. Let's plug in the volume as you do the four thirds. I I raise it to three cubed. And then we go here and oh calculate it out. Four thirds pi three cubed. Oh yeah, but then when you give it up, give it up to two, it, do it into two feet. 
So 56.55, So that's going to be the volume. Uh, actually, I'm divided by 2. And it gives me that. All right, so we're there, right? Now, the whole thing is, let me see if the parentheses are in this. All right, now I'm going to come out the volume of the, the, the cylinder. And that's going to be BH pi r squared, which is the area of the base, same my height. We're going to just start, remember, I have volume, I know my volume, my radius, and my height. I don't remember that, so I'm looking for, I do know my radius of 3, I do know my height of 7, so I'll probably only have the volume due to pi, 3 squared, times 7, so volume will be the 2, what do we now? Pi, 3 squared, 7. So 192, 197.92, 197.92, and now I'm going to do this to add them together. So I have this right there, that's that last one, plus the volume of half of a sphere, which now gives me 254.47, 254.47. Check. Okay, so here's the diagram shows a cone and its dimensions. Okay, this dimension is the closest to the volume of a cone's cubic inches. So we're going to have volume is equal to, or cone is going to be one third bh. The volume is equal to one third, and b is going to be the area of the base. And this area here is going to be pi r squared. And my height, volume is equal to one third pi pi. So things I need is going to I know my volume. I, I don't think I know that one. I'm going to look at my radius. I need to know that one. I have five. And my height is always perpendicular. It's not showing it, but it should be the height perpendicular to that, which would be 12. So those numbers I want to use. 5 squared times 12. So 1 third pi 5 squared times 12. So 314. I get them wrong, but it's funny how they round how I really feel like it. Right? But it'd be this one right here. That's all she wrote, right? 